Hello guys, so here we got really old and just pretty crappy stock set from old uh, Wasser 10 AKA uh, M type of rifle. Uh, we're gonna do a little video uh, about refinishing stock, how to refinish stock so it looks like new condition or better than it was. So first and first, of course, you gotta disassemble it. You could use electric drill to disassemble them, or you could use just your regular screwdrivers. I mean, depends on the stock. Of course, this applies to any type of wooden stock. It doesn't really have to be AK. I mean, it could be Ruger Mini 14. It could be M1 Grand. Whatever. It just really depends on the type of wood that you use. You might actually uh, use slightly bit different techniques uh, when it comes down to uh, maybe what type of grit the sanding paper has. I personally used 150 grit sand, uh, sanding paper uh, just because this stock was in pretty poor shape and I did have to take down quite a bit and didn't want to use too much time. So <clears throat> use your just your standard uh, I mean paper that you can buy at any store like any local hardware store and pretty much start taking down some of the old uh, dis pretty disgusting finish that's on there uh, make sure to take out any imperfection I um, mean mine had quite a few dings and dents on it and few dips so pretty much go on pretty carefully uh, make sure that you don't don't take off more than you want and of course if you are afraid that you're gonna take off too much you can use like a 300 grit paper uh, so pretty much just uh, do like uh, most of the uh, finish uh, probably using electric sander uh, and then try not to get in into too small too tight of a spaces with them especially by using corners of electric sander because it will uh damage or might go too a little bit too deep uh so uh just be careful when you do that uh make sure that that, that you don't apply too much pressure either especially on uh, uh for our uh, forearm grips uh just because uh, they are uh, a lot more fragile uh, especially uh, if it is a uh, lower quality uh, wood just like it is in Romanian wassers. Once you're done uh, sanding it just make sure to give some finishing touches especially in small like creases and uh, small places hard to get to uh, with sander just uh, do a little bit of hand sanding in there. Once you're done with that make sure to uh, blow away anything uh, any particles that are in there and then use the type of stain that you would like. I usually like to use darker stains a uh, good method that I always had good luck with is just using some sort of rag to put the stain on. I don't like to use anything but rag just because it's the uh, best method that I found so far that doesn't really leave any streaks. Uh, so uh, once you apply a uh, first uh, coat or layer, uh, make sure uh, that, that, that you try to uh, apply it evenly to all of the pieces if your gun has you know two or three different pieces of wood that, that you are doing. Uh, once applied all equally, you got to let it dry out so it gets a little bit dry, but uh, it doesn't have to be completely dry. Then you apply a little bit more of coats and uh, keep applying it till you get the uh, actual color of the wood that's desired. So on this particular example, I used uh, right about uh, three coats and it, it is a pretty dark stain. So uh, after three coats of stain, it uh, came into look just uh, very, very similar to what most of the AK stocks lo should look like, especially uh, if it is uh, like Eastern European variant, like uh, Russian, Yugoslavian or Romanian AK variant. They usually do uh, have a pretty dark wood on most of them. So uh, this one I was actually trying to achieve same look as a Romanian uh, G series AKs, which were their Coast Guard guns. They had kind of like almost brownish type of uh, type of finish. So after applying three coats of a pretty dark stain, uh, the effect definitely was pretty close to what the desired effect wanted to be. Once you get enough coats to get the desired color, uh, let it dry. Uh, I usually like to let them sit overnight or more. I don't leave them in the garage or anything. Just leave them somewhere in the house where it's warm so it dries out pretty quick. Uh, once it's dry, dry and out, uh, then you can apply clear coat. I did not record uh, how to apply clear coat in the video just because they, I didn't want to add clear coat particles getting on the camera lenses or anything like that. But it was just a spray type, a in the can type of clear coat. Just you know, have it two, three feet away, put uh, small coats uh, numerous times and try to make them as evenly as possible uh, so there is no variations in uh, clear coat. Here's pretty much what finished product look like. I mean it literally looks like a brand new AK stock and it definitely does not look like a cheaper Wasser 10 AK stock look like. 
I mean, it looks pretty much brand new, very shiny, very smooth. So uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care and subscribe.